morning guys it's 48 degrees and they say it's going to get a high of 90 so we're out here early we're going to finish the revamp on the island bed i um i started getting um a couple of the holes dug and one of the mr uh, bowling ball in the ground and then i got stung by a yellow jacket and that took my momentum away i'm not allergic but it hurts so anyway i uh I just I just stopped and uh, but as you can see the tree looks wonderful I love it and these mr. bowling balls you're gonna love them I've I hadn't looked for shrubs in a long time didn't know anything about these um, these little shrubs over here the shrubs over here <laughs> oh you want me over there yeah come on come on I want to show them the shrubs so these are mr. bowling balls aren't they lovely um i got this one planted uh and i've got the hole ready to go Did with you cut this. that wire i didn't cut the wire no 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 reggie's noticing um we have wiring to lights and uh i didn't cut it i had it pulled to the side so where's the one you cut the other day the one that i cut it's up in the <laughs> other bed. okay so here's mr bowling ball and the nice thing about mr bowling ball it has this really uh lacy look to it nice it gets haircut. it does it gets 30 by 30. uh it takes full sun to part sun well-drained soil um and i just love it i like the size of it i didn't want anything larger the color is beautiful and uh, you just want to make certain that you know you add some compost to your soil and the biotone which i've already done in this hole and uh this is where i got uh, stung yesterday, but so I'll go ahead and fill that in. What but about the, the roots? Did you have to cut the roots? Not the root on these. Balls? I didn't. These these weren't as tight as the tree. Yeah. The tree you saw, I cut the uh, the root bound areas, and then I went ahead and also loosened the sides of the roots on that tree. These aren't um, as root root bound. Oh no! No, they're really nice, airy. Um, lightweight can, you can see that so i will get that in the ground but let's go ahead and dig this hole it's really easy you want to leave um well the soil looks good yeah too. the soil is good um you want to make certain that you um leave your um shrub about a, a little bit above the, the level of the ground because you're going to put soil to at least an inch below and then you're going to mulch on top of that to help hold the moisture in. The other thing I'm finding is I planted bulbs. So I'm going to replant those bulbs in once I get my shrubs all settled in. Because today we are not only putting the shrubs in, I will water and then I will mulch. Um, so let's get this done. This is so easy to do once you do it two or three times. I did hit a little clay, a little bit of clay in the other ones. You always want to give your, you always want to give your new shrub or tree a little space to grow and plant it a little high. Oh, another ball. All right, let's see how this one is going to look. Yeah. The other thing I like to do to my holes is go down a little deeper, leaving the soil there, making certain that you don't have a hard pan. We have clay in this area. And, yeah. uh, oh, I remember that all the clay. Yeah. So um, I have, if there's big clods, I take that out and add a little more uh, of my compost and uh, loosen all that up. Some clay is good because it holds the moisture, but uh, you don't want the whole thing clay. And if you do have a lot of clay, just keep plant your trees and shrubs a little higher, add a little more compost to the bottom, and then uh, fill in around it with good soil and mulch. All right, let's see what this looks like. I did come in and loosen any look how nice though not too much just enough and find the prettiest side 
Okay. I think that's tilting back. Now I need to straighten up from the front. A little bit like that. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of compost. I can lay over. And this is my compost. A little bit on the bottom. You want a root stimulator, whichever one you like. I've been using Biotone for a while. Works very, very well. And we'll add about a cup, half a cup to a cup. And let's put it back in. These are just so pretty. The other thing, in the fall or through the winter, they will get a little coppery color. That's leaning toward the back. It's leaning towards the back. Okay. Um, and uh, then it turns green. That's got it. It's got it? Yeah. Great. All right. So now all you do is you add your soil back. And you want to make certain you compact that. And the first season with any shrub or tree, you want to keep it watered. I may come every other day and give it a drink of water, particularly with this heat. Once we start getting rains again, once a week and I'm optimistic, I probably won't have to. And with the temperatures cooling, that is awesome. Yeah. You also want to make certain that you have a little area where you can make a kind of a well. So when you do water, it will stay, it won't roll off of your plant. And uh, this is a little bit of a slope, not a big slope. So we want to make certain we have. I'm looking for my pot with soil in it. Over here it is. So we'll add this. And it's a little bit above where it's supposed to be, and the mulch will fill in around it. Uh, in the first video yeah, that you did on this project. Right, a couple days you, ago. You took out... All the day lilies yeah. that were around this border. I have. And I may take out a few more once I get it done. It just depends. Yeah. Um, I may thin them out. And just because uh, once you start doing this little bit of revamp, you start looking at this area differently. And that's, that's the best part. Well, that's of what I was getting at. Now you look at it differently. Yeah, you look at it differently. And uh, so all I'm going to do... Let me go ahead and I started this. Reg had to take a little break. He's had a cold. And uh, while he was taking a little break, started filling in this Mr. Bowling Ball. All right. I need a little more soil here. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to get my hose out, get things watered in, start mulching, and I'll bring you back for that when it's done.
so here it is and I am so pleased I love the colors of these mr. bowling balls they pick up on the the lighter green of the um, dappled willow but you know it's just I'm, I'm just I, my inspiration when you hear when I said it looks sad in July and it's time to make um, a revamp or a refresh whatever you want to call it getting the mulch on there now all I have to do is just keep it watered um, as you do with all new plantings <clears throat> even in the winter if we go through dry season like we've been going all summer I will come down and give them a drink of water uh, and um, keep them fresh till next spring so that is such a I love it love it love it love it love it uh, it just gets you uh, motivated to what else do you think you need to edit or add so get out early like I'm doing today take a walk through your gardens and if you love it keep it if you don't take it out give it to a neighbor I've got plenty of daylilies and other plants to give to my friend today when he shows up thanks for watching gardening on the west work zone 6b west and west virginia the revamp of the island bed bye guys